Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. In this video, we will be talking about Spring Boot Starter, specifically with Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Boot Starter JPA. We'll look at what are the features provided by Spring Boot Starter projects. We'll look at a few examples. We'll look at Spring Boot Starter Web and get an overview of the different starter projects provided by Spring Boot. Let's first start with a project without using a starter. That will help us in understanding what features starter projects provide. When we develop a web application with Spring MVC, what do we need to do? We need to include all the frameworks we want to use. First thing is to, we want to identify which framework, which version of the framework, and we need to identify how to integrate the frameworks together. So we created a Spring MVC course earlier, and these were some of the dependencies which we picked up from that specific course. They included Spring MVC, Jackson Data Bind, Hibernate Validator, Log4j, and a wide variety of other courses. And when I was designing this course, I had to specifically choose specific versions which work together. So I had to do a lot of research and find out that 4.2.2 release of Spring MVC works very well with 2.5.3, but it does not work very well with, let's say, 2.8.2. So I had to find out what are the working versions which work together very well. And we had to add a lot of configuration to get all this stuff wired together. What does that mean? I had to configure a view resolver, I had to configure a web jar, I had to configure a dispatcher servlet, I wanted to read a few messages from the properties file, so I had to configure a message source, and we wanted to use JPA, so I had to configure a data source, and entity manager, and transaction manager, and a wide variety of other stuff. I was really tired after configuring everything. Aren't you tired after looking at everything? And that's what the Spring Boot startup projects aim to solve. Starters are set of convenient dependency descriptors that you can include in your application. Let's look at an example, Spring Boot Starter Web. So if I want to create a project with Spring Boot Starter Web, all that I need to do is go to start.spring.io. Once you go to start.spring.io, you can choose, I want to generate a Maven project with a specific version of Spring Boot and I can choose these dependencies, Web, Actuator and Dev Tools. You can give Whatever details are present in here as the group and the artifact and choose web as the dependency. And that's all. Click generate project and then import the project into Eclipse. Once you import the project into Eclipse, you'd see the magic kicking in. If you open up the pom.xml, you'd see this dependency, Spring Boot Starter Web. This is the Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. And when you look at this Maven dependencies, you'd see a lot of dependencies present. You'd see Spring Boot Startup Web, Starter, Auto Configure, Starter Logging, Logback, a lot of logging stuff. You see Embedded Tomcat, Validator, you'd see Jackson Data Bind, and all the Spring Jar, Spring Web, Spring AOP, Beans, Context, Web MVC, and Expressions. At a high level, this can be classified into Spring, Web MVC, Jackson, Validation, Embedded Servlet Container, and Logging. All web applications, think about the web applications you developed in the last few years. They need all these features. So Spring Boot Startup Parent for web comes prepackaged with these. As a developer, I don't need to worry about these dependencies or their compatible versions. I know that all these work together because Spring Boot Startup Web guarantees that. When you start the application, you'd see the following things in the log. You'd see that dispatcher servlet and error page, web jars, embedded servlet container, all of these are auto-configured. As you can see, the startup projects help us in quickly getting started with something. As we can see from startup web, it helps us get started quickly with developing specific types of applications. So is that all that is present? The answer is no. There are a wide variety of other starters which are present. If you want to develop a web services, so web services project, start a web services. If you want to develop a web application or a RESTful application, we already looked at web. If you want to write great unit tests and integration tests, include the starter test. It comes prepackaged with JUnit, Mockito, the Hamcrest framework, the Assert J framework, and JSON Assert framework, along with the Spring unit testing framework. Now, if you want to do traditional JDBC, just use JDBC. 
If you want to add Hetios links to your resources, use Starter Hetios. If you want to automatically enable security on your application, start a security. If you want to use JPA and use Hibernate as the default implementation, go for Data JPA. If you want to implement caching, use Starter Cache. If you want to directly expose your REST repositories, use Spring Boot Starter Data REST. And there are a wide variety of technical starters as well. I would recommend you to play around with Spring Boot Starter projects and I'm sure you'd be learning a lot. In 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.